got them all. over the merciless German defenders on Omaha Beach. The division advances an average of 20 miles a day and eventually make their way to Germany's doorstep. Reaching the heavily fortified Siegfried Line on September 12th, the division crosses into Germany for the first time. In brutal house-to-house -house fighting, they capture Aachen on October 21st, the first German city to fall. That winter, in an act of desperation, Germany launches a massive offensive in the Ardennes, and the Big Red One is tasked with holding the line in what would later be known as the Battle of the Bulge. Eventually fighting their way back into Germany by January of 1944, they cross the Rhine River and continue to advance across Germany. The division finds itself in Czechoslovakia on May 8, 1945, when the war in Europe is finally over as Germany surrenders. In 443 days of combat, the division had suffered over 20,000 casualties. By the war's end, they had taken more than 100,000 prisoners and received 16 medals of honor, as well as the distinction of being America's most accomplished fighting division of the Second World War. From the early battles in the deserts of North Africa, to the rolling hillsides of Sicily, and into the darkest days of occupied France, the members of the Big Red One had been ordinary soldiers tasked with truly extraordinary deeds. Their commitment to success at all costs is reflected in their motto. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great, duty first. <laughs> 